Well, 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 well. Welcome back, everyone. And today, we'll be doing detail work. We will be tidying up all of our paint jobs here, putting the final touches on everything so we can do the wash. The only brush I will be using today, the only brush, will be this um, Reaper's, uh, Reaper's paintbrush, the Zero Tip Brush. We have our two cups of clean water per normal, two solo cups, one cleaning pot, one clean water, and we have all of our colors that we used on our model so far. We have the Lead Belcher, we have the War Boss, Harvest Brown, Leather, Leather Brown, and Desert Sand. We have all of these that we will be using to touch up the miniature. First, we'll be using this. This is going to be the biggest one because we were a little sloppy on some of the pieces and we later found some pieces that we missed. So this is going to be the biggest one that we'll be using for right now. So let's move these over to the side. I have my fancy little holder here. Give this a decent a decent little shake here there we go there and so now we're ready all right per usual we will get our brush nice and moist and we're going to start off with this figure Per usual, because I like this the way this figure looks. All right, gotta take off my glasses though. This is getting real. All right, we are situated. Let's do this. All right, as we figured out, there are some spots right here that we missed. So let's go ahead and hit those. Hmm. There we are. So I'm hoping everybody is having a good time watching these paints. Of these miniatures um, I hope everybody also goes on my mini factory goes on wh whichever way they can and help support these guys or, or, or the group sorry the artisan guild because I believe what they're doing is really awesome there are many are many people out there that do 3D uh, models many and I believe that all of them are doing great work this is just one that I found that I really like and guess what everyone we're doing metal up here did you did anyone guess that that we'd be doing metal up here I didn't I just decided right here right now that's what I'm going to be painting on it. Remember keeping the brush moist is the main game here. We don't want to necessarily keep it wet, but we want to keep it moist. I'm going to hit some of those spots that we accidentally touched. Look at that though. That sword's looking really cool. We got some spots there on the back that we have to touch, but that's all right. All right, so let's get onto the front here. So looks like we got some spots here on the chest. The greatest thing about this lead belcher, this stuff covers it up so well, so well. So well. I 
when I get that little foot right there. And notice, notice the way I'm holding the paintbrush. Notice where my hands are. These are the strategies that I use to basically still my shaky hands. Because, oh my goodness, you can see my hands are shaky. But if you have everything solid on on an on unmoving place, it makes everything a lot easier. Going back for a little bit more water, a little bit more paint. We're going to get that little leg right there. I know this is hard for some people. And you know what? It doesn't matter. If you do have shaky hands, if you don't have shaky hands, painting's just supposed to be fun. Just have fun. Who cares? That's what really matters. Having fun. Enjoying the time that you're using. Doing something that you love. Okay, here we go though. This. See those little belt buckles? We're going to hit those. Now, here's a trick in getting those. We want our, our brush moist, but not wet. Moist, but not wet. Almost dry. Roll your brush to make a point. Just the pointiest point you can, and just dip that point into the paint. Now, put your finger on the model. Slowly bring your hand close to it. I'm not trying to paint it. I'm trying to let my shakiness do all the work. So if I just generally hover over it, look at that. There it is. Now there's a little bit on this side. Look at that. Look at that. We're going to do the same thing here. Look at this. Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? We're going to turn it around since we're on, a fi we're on fire right now. Whoops. We're on fire. And we're going to hit that belt buckle. Do the same thing. Just touch it. Let your shaky hands do all the work for you. I got a little... Just blow on it a bit. There it is. After that dries, we'll hit it again maybe. We'll see. But that's how you do that. The hardest part are those little bitty buckles, but we got them easy. Alright, let's go to the next piece here. Got a lot of detailing to do. A lot of detailing. So let's hit this down here. Hit this little. Oops. Sorry, everyone. There we go. Technical difficulties right there. All right. Hit the sides. All right, we're gonna we're gonna turn this guy over like this, maybe. Nope, like that, maybe. Yeah, that one. You kind of see where I'm gonna go for this. Put my finger up here. There we go. Now you're also probably wondering what I'm gonna be doing with this guy's hair. I'm actually just gonna make it black. It's gonna be one of the very very last things that we do. The very, 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 very last. All right, let's finish this guy's other sword, huh? Just making sure. And also, I mean, like, use your entire table space here, too. be afraid to lean don't be afraid to basically get an arm brace I mean if you're worried about your hands being shaky well 
then find some way to make it less shaky. And if that's holding up a brace, bracing yourself on a table, any way that you can, just get that done. Okay, all right. Here we go. Now, I'm definitely, as you notice, I'm definitely not a speed painter. And while talking and behind a camera, I am a little slower than normal, I would say. But generally speaking, generally speaking, um, I'm not. I'm not a fast painter. And I just enjoy the time that I'm having painting. So I don't get many minis done very fast. That's why each one that I do, it's kind of important to me. It's kind of important. In my own way, obviously, but it makes it special for me. Ooh, that's a lot of paint. Worked out, though. All right, see this little arm thing that we got here? We missed all that, so let's go ahead and hit all that. Yeah, I'm thinking this is actually all metal right here. So we're gonna, whoops. When your brush starts to fray, you let it get too dry like that. So we gotta go get back, get some more water and we'll be back with that. And there we go, just like that. If you start brushing and your paint starts to fray like that, like that, you see that? couple things you're either going too hard the brush is dry or some other sort of mishap lead belcher does do some very good cover up here Yeah, and I think, yeah, we're going to have to paint this one, too. Oops. Man, it's hard to keep this, these things in uh, focus here. All right. I'm sorry if this is a little slow for some of you. You just want to see the end. You want to see the mini. You want to see him finished. But like I said, that's just not me. That's just not me. I like taking my time. Going over things. Seeing how it all looks. And appreciating it. These are things that... This whole reason why I'm painting... You know, it's what brings joy to me. Okay. I think we got this guy good and done here. There's a few spots. But generally speaking, he's pretty good. There's a few spots that we missed, obviously. There's a few spots. But that looks pretty good to me. So we're going to do this same thing on both of them with the lead belcher, and I'll be right back after that. All right, and we're back. I finished all of the detailing work on the miniatures with the lead belcher. Everything is done there. Everything is done here. They're all cleaned up. Okay. So the next step is to hit the, 
the straps that I missed and maybe a little touch up with the desert sand because I don't think I need to do any of the harvest brown but I might need to do some of the leather brown because I missed one whoops I missed one here oops, can we zoom in on that there we go I missed one there and then but basically they all look good otherwise so and I might I might touch up the necklace I'll have to wait and see but I might not we'll see so let's let's go ahead and give this a little bit of a shake put some desert sand on our plate here we don't need a whole lot because I don't think there's a whole lot that we needed to touch up here get some nice clean water make sure our paint is nice and thin and then yeah we'll, let's get into that actually you know what, let's start off with getting the mist the mist uh, straps first you guys see those okay yeah let's go ahead and just get those straps right there yeah just like that real easy got a little extra paint so I might as well just throw it on here and then I missed this one strap here so let's get a little bit more of that paint on here and then let's zoom in get a nice glamour shot here again I'm trying to just flick uh oh I put the wrong I put the wrong one on there yep that's okay we're just gonna play it just gonna play it that's all fine roll 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 with it yep it's okay it'll look fine it'll look fine if you really want to it is a darker color just wait i mean the the one that we actually put on there was the harvest brown uh the, is, is harvest brown so just wait till that one dries and then put harvest brown over there not a big deal uh i'm just gonna leave it though because if that's if that's what it's supposed to be then that's what it's supposed to be and i don't think i need to do much touch-ups on these those look good i might do a little bit on his mask right here so let's let's get a little bit on his mask That looks good. What about his mask? How does his look? His mask looks okay. There. Okay. So that's the that's the current state of the three miniatures. So far. I think they're coming out pretty good. I remember his hair is going to be black. Um, but yeah, I think what we'll do in the next video is do all the detail work. And the detail work, I mean, actually, you know what? Let's just do that now. Let's just do that. Let's grab, let's grab some colors here. I'll be right back after I grab some colors. Okay, and I'm back. I found the colors. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some um, blue, uh, dragon blue on the, the the beads of the necklace and then I'm going to use this uh, true red on some of the other ones so let's just give this a quick shake and we'll put some of this on here don't need much there we go and we'll start off with this guy as, as always. Get her brush a little wet. A little too wet. All right. So let's zoom in here. So he has one big tooth. So let's hit that big tooth with the blue. There we go. 
go. There's a little bit more down there. There we go, we got it. Just gotta hold your breath. And there it is. So then we give him a blue Bluetooth. Actually, that looks pretty good. Let's just leave it as that. So then on his, looks like he has a broken tooth. Can we zoom in here a little bit? Okay, we'll hit both of them with this blue. I actually really like it, so. Okay, we'll need a little bit more blue. Remember, hold your breath and release. There we go. There. And then in this little back spot here, I'm just going to touch them. This will never be seen, but there. there. So we have two little blue, two little blue tooths. There you go. All right, but these guys have masks on and they have little bitty eyes. I think, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna make those red. We're gonna make them red. Let's see what that looks like, huh? So let's just put a little small drop of red A nice moist brush here. Okay, and look at this. I'm gonna set the figure down because eyes are hard, right? As we know. So I'm setting the figure down just like that. What I'm gonna do is just do what I did before touch and slowly work my way up there look at that look at that does not look menacing all right let's do the other one let's just scoot him over grab this one here we go You can see I'm kind of doing little bitty circles, little bitty circles. And this is because the water is so wet. That's why this is so easy. I mean, not wet, but moist. Allowing the paint to flow. Because that's what we want. We want it to flow where we want. There's creases on these miniatures, on, on these pockets, causing surface tension. So the water shouldn't go where we don't want it, unless you do that where you kind of force it. So just be real careful and real gentle. And there you go. Look how menacing that looks. Oh, he has a little bit up on top. Let's try to get that. Oh, my bad, sorry. There. Clean off that brush. There, let's look, a, look at them like this. Yeah, that looks, that looks menacing for sure. He does have a little bit of a lip. I didn't notice that until I just looked at him up there. So let's go ahead and Go ahead and hit that. I want to do a little too high there. That's okay. Hmm, no, it's already there. It's already part of the crew. We'll hit it with the uh, lead belcher here in a minute. Okay, everyone. I think that's going to wrap up today. 
And I think that's going to wrap up our detail work. I think what we'll do next, so in the next video, what we'll do, let me put this guy down here too. In the next video, what we'll do is we'll do the wash. Remember, what we're, we're going to hit it with is we're going to hit it with the non oil first. We're going to hit this non oil shade. And then we'll hit it with the Agrex Earth Shade. We're doing this first to make it dark. So everything that we kind of missed, it'll be darkened up. And then we'll hit it with the Agrex Earth Shade to give it more of like a dirty, a grungy look. So we're doing two washes. Both need at least, um, probably, I would say at least a day. So give this one a day, then give this one a day, and then, then we'll look at it. But in the next video, we'll take a look at that, okay? So till then, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.